Oh. Here you go, Thomas. All right. Seven fifty. Yep, we're paid off now. Yeah, but this is, you only owe five hundred. Yeah, I'm giving you a little bit of extra because it was a cool thing that you did, and you got us out of a sticky situation. So I figured, you know, I'll give you a little something. Plus, you know, giving you a little extra something will at least help you out because who knows if you'll even get anything from Joe. You got a point, but because he's convinced that he, because here's the thing, Tom, right? Yeah. You know, he won five hundred dollars down the casinos also. He didn't give you anything from Very it. convenient he didn't mention any of his winnings. Yeah, uh, and he didn't give it. you any of it. So, you know, you might want to ask him about, like, you know, I heard you won 500 Why didn't he at least give you something? A hundred dollars, even. I'll he didn't give you nothing. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Yeah. But at least between us, we are now square. Right. I'll mark this down as soon as I but can. But that's what I'm saying. You're going to have to make an, make an arrangement with him and tell him that if, you know, if he's not going to pay you, we're going to have to take it out of his pay. Oh yeah, absolutely. Because you got to pay your debts off. Right. I mean, that's only fair. I paid absolutely. mine. That you did. Yeah, and above, and I gave you interest, which, you know, are you going to get, I, if, if I was you, I'd be happy with Joe just paying his 500 back. I'll, I'll probably keep the interest at least verbally, that way he thinks it's higher up, so that once he actually does that, then I can be like, you know what, you at least got this back, good enough, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Yeah, All right, anyway, so. you want to shake on it? Oh, yeah. Pleasure doing business. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, now you might as well, because now you might as well, you know, come with me because I have some jobs for you to do. Huh? Well, I mean, you held that, held that over my head for how many months now, you know, and made us do different things for you. So now you're going to do stuff like you used to, well, a little bit. You're going to do stuff around the house. To keep, you know, for your keep in the house, you know what I'm saying? I mean, everybody's got to pitch in, do their stuff, you know? Uh, right, I mean... Mom does her stuff, I do my stuff, and you don't do anything. Besides the one thing that I got you to do, like, every time I tried to bring something up, you kept trying to, like, highball offers until it came to the point where I just stopped asking you. Okay, so now it's not even about money at all. It's just about pitching in and doing your fair share, right? All right, so let's go outside uh, and see what we can get you doing. I'm not going to make you clean out the shed because that's my mess and I got to clean it out. Right, and you complain about that, it. I would, I, would, I would not like where you would put things and all that kind of stuff anyway. Exactly. So. Caution tape? Yeah, there's What's a crime, that about? There's a crime scene here yesterday. We had to, no, uh, I have grass seed planted and you know what? Oh, right, the grass seed. We're having yeah. a picnic, so I don't want... Uh, people walking through it and ruin it. Oh, well, that, that's a, that's actually a pretty uh, smart way to do that. Would have been better if that was set up, you know, before you didn't tell me about the one thing of grass seed and I stepped in it. Yeah, that would have been a great idea, Tom, had I had the caution tape, but I didn't have it. Why did I know you didn't have the caution tape? Because I just got it. You got like why. everything in that shed of yours. Besides that, uh, the reason why I did it is because when Joe came over, he walked right through it. But he didn't know that I put seed down. You knew I put seed down. You would think you'd- I knew that you put it there. I stepped on it around the corner you're where right, you didn't you're right. And guess what? Not one seed even grew there because they probably all stuck to the bottom of your shoe when you were there. Oh, they did not. Um, yeah, you probably got grass growing from the bottom of your shoe now. Oh, was your sandal? Yeah. Oh. Anyway, that's what the tape is. So you don't have to worry about anything with that. However, I do have a job for you to do out here. I have several jobs. And don't you? Look, your mother and I planted all the flowers. And so you guys anyway, did a good job. Yeah. The rhododendrons, right, out here? And look how beautiful they are, too. It really is. So, there's a lot of dead branches in there growing. You can cut them off. Man, that sounds intense. Huh? That sunlight's intense. Yeah, well, when you're not used to it, I guess it is. So anyway, you see the dead branches in there? Um, there's one in the front there, there's some on the side. Kinda? You, you need to cut them and then just throw them into the woods. Right? Uh, and then the, this one over here has some dead branches. You can go to the azalea bushes and cut off the dead branches of them. Anything that's dead, you just cut it off. Like, like look what I did to this azalea bush right here. Looks like Charlie Brown's Christmas tree now. But, uh, a little bit. I had to cut. They were dead, so I just cut them off like that. Does that sound like a good plan? I mean... 
between like I'm probably on a vaccine like cutting something I shouldn't and the heat. Oh my gosh. The heat is gonna be no matter what. Um, how about this? Because I gotta I gotta buy more grass seed that like the other stuff that I had that you spray on it. Uh-huh. Because I threw handfuls of grass seed down but it didn't take. Um, see all these rocks? Right. If you could I'll give you a rake and you can just rake all these rocks out and then dump them into the woods. No, seriously, no shade out here, is there? Uh, I mean, it's a lot of rocks, and what they do deep with a rake, probably. Dig deep with a rake? You don't dig with a rake. You just rake it. Well, yeah. I mean. Well, how, all right. Well, I'm going to be chopping stumps up too. You want to do that? Not particularly. I mean, how many things do you have to actually chop a stump anyway? How many what? Like, oh, I got axes, mauls, everything. But, um, all right, so you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Uh, how about you wash your mom's car? Because you promised your mom you were going to wash her car well, yeah, on Mother's got... Day. And here it is, way after Mother's Day. And well, her car wasn't here on Mother's Day for one. For two, there's not a cloud in the sky. I was supposed to wax it, too. Yeah. Well, you can't wax it in direct sunlight like this. Oh my gosh, you got And again, there's like no shade, so nowhere I could even like move it to. Well, you know, you could have did it in the morning if you were up in the morning, you know? What are you going to do, wait till the evening comes? I mean, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Well, you should do it for her. You promised her that you were going to do it. I did promise. I'm not like not going to do it. You want to go in the pool and vacuum it all out? Then you're nice and cool, and then you can do one of the other things. You can't, that pool's gonna be freezing still. It's like 68. It's like 68, he says. Yeah. How about, uh, let's see, uh, the pavilion. How about you clean that all up? Like, there's a lot of pollen in there and stuff. I mean, it's at least shaded, but there's also, like, no ventilation. I, you know, I don't spend time you in there. You can use the shop vac, and you can just vacuum it out. It's nice and shady. You can put the fan on. You can clean it all up. Does that fan even do anything? How about you clean the chicken coop out? <laughs> That's a good one. What did I name about like seven things so far and you haven't wanted to do one of them? None of them. So how about I just tell you you have to do something then, right? I mean, you could just come over and just help me chop up the, uh, the stumps over there. Stump, stumps over there? You mean the one that has like the sap on it? Yeah. I just want to chop them up to get them out of the ground. I get that, but like... I think you should. I mean, we your shoulder. Turn. My shoulder's fine, Tom. See? What's wrong with you? I bought a new grill. I just, I have to break this in pieces just to throw it away. So you tent the lid? Well, I mean, it's got to come off anyway. I mean, like, the sides. Got to come off. I mean, this side. Got to come off. This door's got to come off. The whole thing. That's fun. You want a shot? Tom, I No, bought, that's, that's not normal. I bought a new grill. I mean, I, I get this that. Away. And I want to break it up in pieces so I can throw it away easier. So I, I don't get have to that. get a dumpster just for this. I get that, but could you just... Aren't there, like, screws you could just undo to, like, take it apart as opposed to... That's no fun. I mean, Tom, look. You just come over and... Look, I'm telling you, it's like therapeutic. You can just... Smash her up. Bashing it's not normal. It's very therapeutic. Try it, Tom. You like it. I don't know. Stuff keeps launching out of it. Was it a magnet? Want to try one? Frankly, no. I'm telling you, it makes you feel good. It does hurt a little bit over my shoulder, but... Uh, so seriously, you're, point. you don't want to do that. I understand that part of it. You don't want to do the, the chopping up of the stumps. Right, and besides, aren't there like automatic grinders for that? Like, why not just... Get one of those. You gonna, you gonna rent one for me? I mean, work smarter, not harder. I know that, but are you gonna rent one for me? I don't know how much it costs. Like I said, you're not gonna rent one for me. All right, so let's decide what is Tom going to do. Tom's gonna do something. Well, I know what I would like to do is to finish, you know, getting a shower and, you know, editing. But, if you really want to watch me do something, I, I did tell Mom and she had asked me if I could water the plants for her. All the stuff she just planted. Hold it, so... 
Your mom asked you to water the plants or you just volunteered to water the plants? Well, she had asked me. Okay, so if mom asked you to, to like chop stumps, you're gonna chop stumps? I if mean, your mom asked you to clean out the pavilion, you're gonna clean the pavilion? Probably not. I give up. All right, well, what are the plants then, Tom? All right. I'm getting something to drink. Yeah. What's his problem?